question says there is a mixture of toluene and xylene there is toluene as well as xylene you know both of them are volatile which means there can be vapor of both toluene as well as xylene right toluene is there as well as xylene is there in the vapor mixture suppose vapor pressure of pure toluene uh, pure toluene is represented with p0 of t pure toluene nothing else what is that equal to is vapor pressure of pure toluene given this given p0 is given p0 t is given it is given 40 mm right same way vapor pressure of xylene is also given when it is pure how much is that 140 it may 150 it is 150 mm when it is pure now they vaporize <coughs> it's no longer pure it's a mixture now you have mixture of both xylene as well as toluene in the solution both of them evaporate what is vapor pressure of toluene here if you represent vapor pressure of toluene as p of t so p of t represents what vapor pressure of toluene in the mixture according to rolls law p of t is equal to what p0 of t into mole fraction of t similarly what is vapor pressure of only xylene p0 of xylene into its small fraction what will be the total vapor pressure of the mixture vapor pressure of mixture vapor pressure of mixture will be what this plus this so can we say vapor pressure of mixture is equal to p of t plus p of x p of t represents vapor pressure toluene p of x represents vapor pressure of xylene that is equal to p0 t into xt plus p0 x into xx do we know p0 of t already it is given p0 of t is given it is 40 mm so it is 40 mm into is small fraction of toluene known to us neither is known to us neither the small fraction of toluene nor the small fraction of xylene is known so we'll write x of t plus is p0 of xylene given to us it is 150 now instead of small fraction of xylene we write 1 minus small fraction of toluene 1 minus xt what is the reason sum of the small fractions of all the components in any solution is equal to 1 so xt plus xx is equal to 1 xs is equal to 1 minus xt now is the total vapor pressure given to us it is given it is 0.5 atmospheres it is 0.5 atmospheres this is in millimeters this is in millimeters so can we use 0.5 atmosphere as it is or do we left we left to convert it these pressures are not in atmospheres this pressure is in millimeters this pressure also is in millimeters which means this pressure also should be taken in millimeters this pressure should be taken in millimeters 0.5 atmosphere makes how many millimeters one atmosphere is how many millimeters one atmosphere right divided by 2 because it is only 0.5 therefore it is 380 now everything is in millimeters all the units are in millimeters 
work it out to get x of t x of t is uh, found to be 0 0.92 you can easily find out x of x 1 minus 0 0.92 therefore f, x of x is equal to 1 minus 0 0.92 which is equal to 0 0.8 I am sorry 0 0.08 that is it